Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to the art studio. I'm Charles Maring and today I'm updating my Lumix S1 full frame mirrorless camera from Panasonic with the latest firmware version 1.2. And since this is one of the first firmware upgrades, I'm going to show you how to install it onto your camera systems if you have a Lumix S1. So stay tuned. <laughs> using Lumix for a while with the G series or any of the compacts, you already know that Lumix is known for bringing some pretty significant updates via firmware to their cameras, sometimes entirely new features, other times improvements and enhancements. Uh, the, what, version 1.2 brings both of those to our fingertips actually. And so I want to share a little bit about that here. But first and foremost, let's show you how to update your camera first. So I'm over on the Panasonic site here. I will put a link down below in the description. And as you can see here, we have the full frame option tab open. There's also Micro Four Thirds, Compact Cameras, and others. Uh, we need this, and we're going to go down and see there's a Lumix S1 update. There is also a Lumix S1R update, version 1.2. We're going to click to go to the download page. This is where you actually will get your firmware to put into your camera. You basically click download, and it will download to your downloads folder. Pretty simple. Of course, make sure to read the license agreement. And if you want to read more into what this new update brings to the camera, that's certainly down below as well. I've actually already downloaded it to save time. It took about two minutes with my connection speed here to get it into my downloads folder on my Mac. As you can see, that's where it is. And it is a .zip file. I'm going to double click to open that. And then now you'll see in here there's a .bin file. Now, let me mention, prior to this, I put a ProGrade SD card into my Lumix S1 and formatted it. That is part of the process. And now I've put it in my ProGrade card reader, and we're going to bring up that file here now on my computer. And you'll see here's the DCIM and private file that the camera automatically creates when you format your camera. And we're just going to drag that BIN file to the root of that SD card. Really simple, really fast. Then I'm going to click eject. And now we can physically pull our SD card out of our card reader here and pop it into our Lumix S1. And that's what we're doing here now. Uh, let me navigate through the menu here for you. If you've used Lumix G series cameras, it's a little different than the S series. So that's why we're bringing this to you. Let me go into the menu and if you see that there is a wrench icon on the far left, that's where we want to go down to, right there. And then the tab to the right, we want to go all the way down to Others. And then we go down to Firmware Version. Now, it's going to show ver version 1.0 on the camera now, uh, Software Info, but it's grayed out where it says Update Firmware. Now, the reason it's grayed out on my camera is because I'm plugged into the HDMI port to be able to show you that. So what I'm going to do is now unplug my HDMI cable, go back into that section of the menu, go to firmware version, and now it's really simple. I can click firmware update by clicking set on the back, and the camera is now spinning a little bit. And don't touch anything on the camera while this is happening, but it will update the firmware for me. <laughs> Start update, yes. Uh, and it's going to update the uh, camera body itself. Now, let's dive back to the Panasonic site here one more time and share with you as well that there are also updates for the 24 to 105 lens and the 70 to 200 f4 lens. And what that's bringing to you is uh, improvements in image stabilization for those lenses, and also compatibility with the new 2 times converter and the 1.4 times converter for the 70 to 200, which is a beautiful thing as well. Uh, so those are the new features that the lens updates will do. You might as well do them at the same time uh, and get that done uh, here and now. So uh, that's as quick and easy as it is to update your camera. And mine's still going here. I had a full battery, by the way, which I highly suggest before you put this uh, into your camera and try to do this. But uh, 
Uh, that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna be finished shortly. Let's dive into some of the features and what this is bringing to us as well. So uh, the Lumix S1, what we're gonna see is improved image stabilization. Uh, the correction of the body image stabilizer has been improved to um, 5.5 stops to, from, from 5.5 to 6 stops. And if you use dual IS, meaning you're using Lumix limit lenses with optical stabilization, that's improved from 6 to 6.5 stops. Uh, we're also going to see some uh, different opportunities and improvements in AF. And then there's also the ability to upgrade your camera via a software key to be able to do all sorts of extremely high-end video work, bringing 10-bit uh, 422 uh, and a complete V-Log profile to your camera as well. So that isn't quite available just yet, but that will be the next stop, next step. And you have to actually have this installed in your camera to be able to do that paid upgrade. And I should mention that if you've bought your camera already up to July 31st, I believe it is, uh, you're going to be able to get that software upgrade for free, which is a pretty cool thing as well. I believe it retails at $199, uh, and that allows you to actually install it in your camera. Uh, we'll talk about how to do that at, the at a future date once we find more information on exactly what is the process for getting that free upgrade into my camera, uh, and how do you go about doing that. Still updating here, but most certainly shortly it will be completely done. And that's pretty much a wrap for today. Just wanted to share with you how you actually update your firmware, a couple of the improvements, little news about the 4K 10-bit uh, 422 with the key and upgrade. And that's a wrap for today. Finish shortly. You guys have a great one. Take care, everyone.